this is Carrie with Homeschool Mom of Two. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to bring you a um, curriculum haul for my sixth grader and what he'll be using in the 2019-2020 school year. And both of my boys will be in junior high at the same time this year. I have one in sixth, one in eighth. I will be bringing my eighth graders curriculum um, in the next video, so look out for that one. And so there will be a couple subjects that we'll be doing together as junior high boys. Um, so anyway, let's get started and see what we'll be using for this year for sixth grade. So here is a view of everything we'll be using with my sixth grader this year. And let's just kind of zoom in and see what we have. So this year for uh, language arts, we'll be using level five the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts curriculum, which comes with a course book and a course companion, a shared and personal readers, geography and grammar cards, and I also bought along uh, spelling rules just to help them with uh, spelling, since that's not always a, um, an easy thing for them to do. We'll be working on spelling this year. And then we will also be learning typing. We did do typing.com last year. They weren't like a huge fan of it, so I figured maybe I would try this program. Um, so at least with my sixth grader, I'll be doing this. Maybe my eighth grader, we'll see. But for sure, typing one and two we'll be doing this year. Um, for science, we will be doing the good and the beautifuls. Chemistry, this will be just for the first unit, and then we'll be adding on as the year goes on. We'll be doing kingdoms and classifications, and probably marine biology and one other one. But right now, we're just going to start with chemistry. As we move on, these are like morning, uh, morning things to do, or on like Fridays when we don't have a ton to do, just to do for fun, but learning. So first is um, I bought these student logbooks, and this is what I'm going to try to keep track and make them more independent to be able to check off what they do every day. Um, this is from edutators.com. I can link it below. But all it is, i this really quick, is you tear this out, write what they do, and then I have a dated version and you will put this and you'll tape it over it and that way they can continually just flip this and it'll go under. Um, kind of hard to explain, but if you watch a video you'll understand. I'll link it below. For Bible, we'll be doing Not Consumed, Develop in a Quiet Time. I believe this is just a month's time. So after that we'll just continue to read our Bible and do other videos um, online to watch as well for devotional. Just some fun things, extreme dot to dot. Just something fun to do on Friday. Vocabulary cartoons, so help with vocabulary. We'll do one a day. These use mnemonics to help learn words. They always do pictures, rhyming to help remember vocab words. So we're gonna try to do one a day with this. Also got him a, like a logic book to do. So critical and creative. Got this from Evan Moore. And we'll do this also um, just on the side just to get some more geography fun because my, my son likes geography. And this is also by Evan Moore. Um, our language arts curriculum, since it has a lot of everything, it has literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, vocabulary, and writing. So I don't want to like overdo it <laughs> with him. Moving on. And then... For both of my sons, my sixth grader and my eighth grader, since they're in junior high together, I am going to do um, IEW for writing, Student Writing Intensive Level B, which it just comes with a binder, your DVDs to watch, and your information. So I'll have to make another binder for my eighth grader, but they'll both be doing this because we need to work on writing this year. I also bought a Word Right Now and this helps like no more words. So if they can't think of a word to describe what they want to say, then they can have more exciting words to add in. So I thought that'd be a nice add-in to the IEW. And then also what they're doing together, which will make it a little easier, is we're going to be doing Not Grass History, Uncle Sam and You. And that will be, there's a part one and a part two. And if you've never heard of it, just look up Knotgrass History. And so this will be the first semester, 
second semester. It is a civics and government course that I will be doing with both of them. I got my sixth grade of the workbook. My older son will be doing the older the review. Also comes with a citizen's handbook, which will have reference them to read out of this book. And then it also comes with an answer key booklet. So that is all what my son will be using this year. And please share what you will be using with your kids. I'd be you know, interested in seeing that. So I forgot to mention uh, what we're doing for math. And we are switching from teaching textbooks to CTC math this year. Uh, we were just having some issues of mastering concepts with teaching textbooks. So um, CTC math is also an, it's an online program with videos and questions, and it's based on mastering. So if you have any questions, you can uh, look up that at the link below for CTC math and check it out and see if maybe you would like that if you're still looking for a math curriculum. But I will be using that for my sixth and eighth grader as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, subscribe if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear them. Anyway, have a great day. I hope you guys have a wonderful school year. Have a good day. Bye.